Hello everyone, today we will present web emoji, exploring user authoring multimodal emoticons in social communication. I'm Ziqi Zhou. This is collaborative work with Peng Cheng and Qing Liu, Yi Feiyin, Ling Haodu, Da Yuan Huang, and Jian Zhao from the University of Waterloo, Huawei Human Machine Interaction Lab, and Southern University of Science and Technology. The birth of the emoticon can be traced back to the 1970s, and it has expanded its usage from email to daily communications. E emoticons enable people to convey feelings, emotions, and any nonverbal reactions concretely and efficiently in different cultural backgrounds. According to Emojipedia, the usage of emoticons has constantly been increasing from 2012. In 2021, over 20% of tweets now included an emoji, and 5 billion emojis are sent every day on Facebook Messenger. Well, emoticons are more and more popular in social communications. Static emoticons cannot meet people's various demands for self-expression. Users are seeking more customized and enriched form of emoticons. Thus, the multimodal emoticons that combine animation, haptic, and sound are emerging. You can see there are some explorations in the industry. Google Gboard enables users to use the emoji with recommended animation. Apple iOS enables the customized emojis and animojis. In Huawei Me Time, user can use predefined emojis with sound and vibration. While in Tison WeChat, full screen animation and haptic effects will pop up for some emojis. Thus, we formulated three design principles, which are encouraging users to freely combine multimodal elements, providing recommendations without limitation, and supporting on the fly authoring of multimodal emoticons. These considerations help us design features beyond the e existing use cases and better support users communication we will introduce the design idea of our, our application the application looks very similar to a daily used communication app pressing the left icon will open the interface and there are three parts from bottom to up emoticon part vibro tactile patterns part and animation effects part user will select each of them and assemble a vibe emoji for communication Next, let's see a demo of our application. With Bab Emoji, user could freely combine emoticon stickers, vibro tactile patterns, and animation effects. After selection, the others of the elements in the unselected sections will change based on Web Emoji's recommendation. Moreover, each vibro tactile element is displayed in its waveform. When selected, it will be rendered by the haptic module of the phone in sync with other selected elements. After selection the three elements, press the set button and the web emoji will be delivered. In the other side, the communication partner will receive the web emoji. Now, we will talk more details about each component and let's start with the dataset. The animation library comes from Kinaticons, which contains a set of animations for icon graphics. We select 15 of them that are suitable for emojis. The Viber Tactile Library is from WebViz, which contains a set of Viber Tactile patterns. We filter out vibrations based on the harmony and relevancy with the emoticon data. Finally, we select 60 vibrations. The emoticon data set is from LEAD, which is Lisbon Emoji and Emoticon Database. And we select the emojis that appear in the iOS system. We will recommend multimodal elements to users based on their emotional relevancy to support the authoring process. Thus, we collected Valenzorazo data of the three elements in, in order to find relationships. For the emoticon data set, we have the Valenzorazo data from LEAD. From Viber Tactile data, we did a mobile survey app with 26 participants and for the animation data set, we did a web-based survey with 52 participants. Here's a web survey questionnaire in the left and the mobile-based survey questionnaire in the right. I will talk about the recommendation system. The recommendation system mainly considers the emotional model and user behaviors. The emotional model is measured by the Euclidean distance between elements in the Volans Arazo 2D plane. For example, once a sticker is selected, all vibrations that has lower Euclidean distance will be in the front. Another aspect is user behavior. We use the TF-IDF method, which is popular in the field of information retrieval. TF means term frequency, which represents the frequency of the previous selection 
IDF, the inverse document frequency, is used to reduce the bias of the two common elements. For example, if there is an animation in every sticker, the weight of that animation will be lower to increase the diversity of the recommendation system. Every time when a new element is selected, the order of all unselected elements will be renewed. Next, we will introduce the system architecture. The front end is developed by React Native Framework, and the back end is developed by Node.js. The web tactile patterns are played using a native Apple haptic engine. We use Socket I/O for real-time communication across the front end and back end. The Apple push notification service is used for the message notification delivery, in which the user could receive the notification on any Apple device. We evaluated WebMoji with 20 users in the wild for four weeks and gathered rich empirical data about how they created, shared, and experienced multimodal emoticons in everyday communication. Overall, as you can see from the results, all participants sent 1,824 messages and 581 multimodal emoticons using WebMoji in the field study. The median interaction time is around 7.09 seconds. The users give strong and positive feedbacks about Vibemoji in different aspects. Regarding the conversation's engagement, joy, expressiveness, accuracy, diversity, and mental feelings. We want to point out four typical scenarios for multimodal emoticons values. The first scenario enhances the existing meaning that a static emoticon conveys. An example is using a snore-like vibration and slight scrolling motion to enhance the sleeping emoticon. Another scenario is to create a brand new meaning. For example, a shaking head motion with vibrations in a zip emoticon can express a completely opposite meaning of the original emoticon. The third scenario is to set the atmosphere for a conversation session. A participant reported he often used a group of multimodal emoticons to set an atmosphere for making jokes. The last scenario is to construct attentive and empathetic responses. Using the same emoticon with different combinations of vibrations and motion can effectively convey the attentive response to the conversation partner without interruption set from a participant. Apart from these four types of scenarios, we also discover more insights into how users construct and, and interpret multimodal emoticons using Vibemoji. Thank you for watching our presentation. For more information, please see our paper.